Hi, this is Miss Megan, your Teen Services Coordinator for the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and I'm here with Mr. Gabriel Lundin, our Deputy Director. Hello. To teach you all about your Clue account. So, Gabriel, what's the Clue account? Basically, Clue is an account that the library gives to every student that gives you access to a variety of really great resources to help you in school, including live tutoring, 2 to 11 p.m., seven days a week, you can chat with a live tutor, as well as um, resources to help you with projects, learn a language, and a whole lot more. Let's show you how to access that. From the library's website, you're going to go to Teens, Homework Help, and then Clue. And it's going to take the computer a second to think. And then you've got this great list of all of the resources available to you through your Clue account. And the first one that Gabriel's going to talk to you about is BrainFuse. And real quick, before we get to BrainFuse, I also wanted to show you how you log in. You use your, when you see a username, when you click on any of the resources that Megan and I are about to show you, it's going to ask you for Clue, C-L-U-E, plus your GTID. Does everybody know their Georgia testing ID? You should know your Georgia testing ID. And if you don't, now's a good time to ask somebody. And password is going to be the month and date of your birth. So if you were born on February 7th, as you can see right here, 0207. And so as Megan mentioned, let's talk about brain views. Any of these, by the way, you can just click on to access, but there are lots of paths from our website. The main thing I want to show you here is a lot of great resources on brain views is the live tutoring. You can get actual help from a tutor who is a certified teacher to, um, at 2 to 11 p.m. seven days per week. That's excellent and you have the option of changing the language up here in the top right corner from English to Spanish, French. You can also click in the box here in the middle of the screen and do your session in Spanish. That's awesome and so let's it's going to ask you to pick a grade. Now let's say I am a seventh grader and I need some math help. Math and science are by far the most popular subjects we've discovered, but you can also get social sciences, writing help, English, whole variety of topics covered here by a teacher. Also, before we actually meet one of these tutors, you can sign up for an account here that will let you save your work and go back to things you've done in BrainFuse before. Your past sessions will archive your previous tutoring, so if you didn't catch something that the tutor said or you wanted to go back and reference it, you can go back and watch the session and, and go back through it. There's also a message center where they can message you back and a variety of other collaborative things if you have group projects. Those are great resources. So let's meet a tutor. By the way, before I mention this, um, before we meet this tutor, you can also access this on your phone or an iPad or Android device with their app. So you can get it anywhere. And this is what it looks like when you begin a brain feud session. This big whiteboard here is an area to um, draw all sorts of geometry, to collaborate, you name it. And there's our tutor saying hello to us. How can I help you today? This is how they'll greet you. And I'm going to tell them, hello, we are telling a bunch of awesome middle schoolers. If I can type, if I can spell school, that's a bare requirement, right, yes, Megan? It is. <laughs> All about brain views. And this is how you would communicate back and forth with them. Unfortunately, you're not going to get a face-to-face -face kind of experience, but the nice thing about that is, um, I don't know about you, but sometimes it's hard to ask for help and you feel stupid, you're not sure you want to reach out like that. This is kind of a nice anonymous way to do it because you don't know this person, you're not going to see this person, you can just ask the questions and get the information that you need. That's great. I know that I would have liked that a lot when I was in school. And this whiteboard, as we mentioned, you can draw all kinds of things on here, various math equations and functions. Um, also, if you had a homework assignment or a project that you needed help with and you had the assignment itself, you can go ahead and upload that right to the instructor so they can actually see the assignment you're working on and really get you the help that you need. That's fantastic. And like I said, these get archived, 
So you can go back into your account when you make one and, um, no, is there anything I can do to help? I'm going to ask, can you show us some of the best whiteboard features? And these tutors I've found are really very friendly and easy to deal with. So these folks will definitely be able to help you, especially on those harder topics like math and science. I very much like the interactive whiteboard feature because they can work through problems with you. They're not going to give you the answer, but they're going to help you work through each problem. All right. So as you can see, it's really nice to get that help with brain fuse. The other thing that I wanted to show you amongst the many features of BrainFuse is the writing lab. You can use this to submit a paper to them and a teacher will look at it and give you feedback within 24 to 48 hours. So it's a great way to get some input on your paper before you turn it into your teachers. That's fantastic. They'll check for writing, grammar, spelling. Make sure your writing is in tip top shape. Fantastic. Now the next one we want to show you is Learning Express. Learning Express has a lot of great resources, including some test prep materials. Um, what I'm going to show you today is actually the School Center. And you can also create an account that saves your progress um, and testing prep that you do. Click on Middle School. And to the left here, it gives us a lot of topics such as math skills improvement, English language art skills improvement social study skills improvement, and if you have to take a high school entrance exam, you can test prep for those. And as you can see, next to each one of these little units, you can either register for account or log in with your current account. Really easy to use, very intuitive. Um, I've done a couple of these myself. Very easy to use. That one's a pretty simple one. The next one we're going to show you is National Geographic. So National Geographic most of us have probably heard of the magazine before, and if not, your parents and key teachers certainly have. But what this is, is not only the magazine archives from 1888 to current, but it's a great way to really explore a lot of topics for science, social studies, history papers, a variety of research projects you may end up having to do. One place I like to start with this is just under explore topics. And for example, clicking on environment here and let's say that I had a report to do on volcanoes and I'm looking for some really good resources. I like the one that says carved by lava. If and that good. image doesn't grab you, I don't know what will. National Geographic is famous for its really excellent photography and journalism so these are great resources to use and as you can see here what you've got is the entire magazine article as though you were looking at it from the magazine, but on your computer, of course. These are much better images than something you're going to find on Google search. And the entire text and easy to cite, everything you would need for your papers. One nice thing that's great about this is the way they break things down. So if I use this search window up here, and let's say I was searching for volcanoes, it's going to show me everything broken down by type of resource I need. So if your teacher says you have to use a certain number of book resources, there are also ebooks and book articles that get searched through here. Magazine articles, images, maps, videos, you name it, um, on a wide variety of subjects. So this can be a great place not only to do your research, but to also brainstorm a little bit if you're not sure where to start or what topic you want to do. Another great place to explore topics for research is going to be Credo Reference. This is an online encyclopedia, not one of those dusty books. This is all online and it stays really up to date and current. It's going to have references and resources that your teachers would love to see you use. And you can do a variety of searches. Basic, image, and mind map are probably going to be the three you're going to want to use. For instance, let's do Eclipse. We're going to search and the computer is thinking. And see, it brings up a lot of articles on Eclipse. Now let's say this doesn't bring up what you want. Let's do a mind map. Click on mind map. And it shows you all these different search terms related to Eclipse, like ecliptic, lunar eclipse, moon, solar eclipse, eclipse cycle. And it also shows you a variety of articles related to Eclipse. 
So this is a great way to maybe find additional search terms or things that you didn't even think about. And our next resource we wanted to show you is Newsbank. Newsbank is a, new, a magazine and newspaper resource. The main one you guys might run into is Ledger Inquirer, our local paper here. If you're ever asked to do a project and use a local newspaper article, just click on Ledger Inquirer and you can search from 1985 to today. Not even current, like a couple days ago, but the today's paper is in here. And you can do some searches to find those um, articles that you need for research papers. There's also a variety of other things. One thing that I like is the current events area under hot topics. They have all these different articles and um, also some very nice special reports on things that are happening in the news now, which might be very helpful for projects you encounter. We also have Galileo, which is a collection of databases uh, and magazines, another authoritative research source with places that you can reference that your teachers will like. You can search by database or magazine. My favorite right here for you guys will be Galileo Teen, which breaks things down for grades six through eight. You've got how-to videos on how to use Galileo. And if you're not sure where to start, click on by topic and it shows you all the different topics you can search under. Let's do art and music. You can see it also brings you to create a reference, nonfiction book collections, the Digital Library of Georgia. You can also search by subject type. You can do articles and magazines, books and book reviews, the dictionary, all sorts of places. This is a lot more than we can go into right now. We just wanted to kind of give you a quick look at what Galileo is. Uh, and the last thing we want to show you is Mango. Mango is where you can go to learn languages. You definitely want to create a login here, um, an account, because it will save all of the practice that you're doing on learning a language. But today, we're going to do guest access. And with Mango, you have 72 different languages you can pick. These are the top ones here. You can imagine the most common, such as Spanish, French, English, pirate. Pirate? Pirate. Yar, matey. We are you going can to learn pirate on Mango. Let's let's learn some pirate. All right. So we clicked on it. Let's click on get started and see what happens. It's connecting right now. Okay. It's loading our adventure. Oh, we've got captain's orders. What does our captain want us to do? Listen to the following conversation. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Belay your carousing and haul wind smartly. All my duty to you, Captain. The ship be now a sailing at full speed. Army hearty, a fine gentleman of fortune be ye. Aye, and finer still with a lass and some booty, I fancy. Okay, let's see what all of that meant. Try this one. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Which means, oh my gosh, the ship isn't moving. Okay, you can click this microphone to practice it yourself. So let's listen to it one more time. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. So let's see, Megan, how's my pirate? Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. And see, it shows you how well you match up to the original voice's structure. So, Mr. Gabriel was a little off, but I think he sounded kind of good. Not bad, for, not bad for a first time, right? Not bad for a first time pirate. You all should go and practice your pirate. So that's just a little bit about what Mango Languages will do. And what Mango really does, even if you really, you know, maybe there's not a class in Pirate at your school, but it makes learning a language fun and very easy to jump right into and start speaking in some basic sentences immediately to really build on what you're learning. And you can even learn about culture, like this right here is about Puerto Vallarta, Mexico and a pirate ship. So not only can you learn about languages, but you can learn about the culture where that language is spoken. And if you get a, get a chance to travel to any of the places where these cultures are and where the language is spoken, this gives you that much more knowledge. It's actually, yeah. Okay. So those are the resources available to you using your Clue account. 
If you need more help, you can call the teen department at 706-243-2690. Anybody on staff will help you with this. We're here to help you succeed. Again, I'm Miss Megan, your teen services coordinator, and that is my job to make sure you're having the best library experience that you can, and I'm happy to help you with this. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this was interesting and informative and that it helps you all in school.